In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to GitHub pages. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and I'll explain everything you need to do. So first go to GitHub, log in, and then find the project you want to connect the domain to. On this account, I just have a website that I've created, a very basic website. So once you've clicked on the project, go to settings in the top right hand corner, then scroll down and you need to find pages. Click on pages. So I've just removed any custom domain and my website now is live through a GitHub subdomain. So if we click on my domain, here is my website. It is a very basic static page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect a GoDaddy domain to this. So to do that, go to pages, scroll down and you'll find custom domain. Here what you need to do is go to your GoDaddy account, log in, and then you need to head over to domains. I'm going to go ahead and click on my profile. We'll go my products and from here we'll go to my account and we'll go to domains. Basically you want to go into the back end of your domain. I'm going to connect this one here searchablehowto.com. So I'm going to click on this domain and it's going to take me into the back end. First what we're going to do is copy the domain name and I'll go back to GitHub. I'll type www. then paste in that domain and click save. So now you've done that, it's going to try and check for the domain name servers, which we haven't added yet. We're going to do that now. So now in the back end of GoDaddy, go to DNS and we need to add a couple of DNS records. So go back to GitHub and go ahead and click here, learn more about configuring custom domains. That will open up the help page. And if you scroll down and click managing a custom domain for your GitHub pages site, click on that, then scroll down again and you're looking for the first one, configuring an Apex domain. So what you need to do is scroll down until you can see these four A records, and we're gonna add these A records here to our domain. So we'll copy the first one, we'll then go into the DNS records, we'll go add new record, type A record, for the name type at, and for the value paste in the first A record, then click save. Now we're gonna do this exact same thing for all four of these A records. So we'll copy the second one, add new record, A record, at, paste in the value, then click save. That should save again for the third one, add new record, A record, at, paste in the value and click save. And then finally for the last one, add new record, A, at, and then paste in the value, very simple stuff. So now we've finished on a record. Now we need to add one more CNAME record. So if you scroll further down on this page, you're now looking for, where is it here? You're now looking for configuring an Apex domain. So it's just under the A records. The A records are here, configuring an Apex domain. Now what you need to do is you need to add a CNAME record. So you need to type in your username .github.io. So go ahead and go back to GitHub and just figure out what your username is. It's going to say in the top left hand corner, my username is knowledgebaseyt.com. So, so far we've added four A records. All we need to do now is go back to this back end of our domain, click add new record, add CNAME record, then type www. And for the value, you need to add your GitHub domain dot GitHub dot IO. So mine is knowledgebaseyt.github. Dot io very simple then click save that will add that cname record to your domain now we can go back to the github website make sure you're in settings again you're on pages and if you go ahead and refresh the page it's going to check your domain so i had to wait a couple of minutes here so i've just refreshed and i've waited maybe like two minutes and now you can see dns check successful now, once you've done that and you've waited, it says DNS check successful. You can go ahead and see your website live. Click on this and here's my website. Now you'll notice it says not secure. That's because the SSL certificate hasn't generated yet, but it will generate one. You can go ahead and enforce HTTPS once the certificate has finished being issued. So if it's all working, you've done everything correct. Just wait a couple of hours to for everything to propagate. But well, that's how you connect it. I hope that helped you out.